Hi, good day. This is Miss LM, and we're back again for another math video. And today we're going to talk about illustrating linear equations into variable. Let us have this problem first. The sum of twice a number and twice another number is 33. What are the numbers? Whoops, don't rush. Let's just translate it into a mathematical sentence. Write your answer on a paper and let's see if you're correct. But before that, let us remember that a mathematical equation is a mathematical statement indicating that two expressions are equal and using the symbol of equal symbol. So once we see an equal symbol, that means this is an equation, okay? So examples here is 4 plus 5 equals 9, x plus 3 is equal to 7, 2x minus 4 is equal to 16, and 3x plus 5 is equal to 17. They are considered as a mathematical equation because they are statements indicating two expressions that are equal. So, may equal symbol sila para mas madali natin tandaan. Lahat ng equation ay yung may mga equal symbol. Okay? So, now, to translate the sentence, the sum of twice a number and thrice another number is 33 into a mathematical equation, you have to analyze each word in the sentence. Yes, indeed, we have to analyze each word in the sentence to translate it into a mathematical equation. Again, the sum of twice a number and thrice another is 33. Since it is stated that there is a number and another number, we can use two variables. So that means there are two numbers that are unknown. So we can use two variables to represent those numbers. We let x be the first number and let y be the second number. Take note that the word is means equal. Remember in our problem solving involving rational algebraic expressions, so the first step is to read and the second step is to represent. We're going to represent the problem using two variables, x and y, and without forgetting that the word is means equal. Okay. Now, let us translate this statement into mathematical equation. The sum. When we say sum, the operation is addition. When we say twice a number, that means we're going to multiply the first number by 2, okay? And thrice another, so the another number, multiply by 3 because of the word thrice. So again, first number is represented by x, second number is represented by y. Then the last important words here is 33, that means equal siya sa 33. So if we're going to write this appropriately, sum of twice a number and thrice another is 33, we're going to have 2x plus 3y equals 33. So the sum of twice a number and thrice another number is 33. So this is what we call linear equations in two variables. So malino naman na dalawa yung variables natin and linear equation siya. Again, this is what we call linear equation in two variables. So again, 2x plus 3y is equal 33, and this is a linear equation in two variables. Again, 2x plus 3y equals 33 is considered as a linear equation in two variables. This equation is written in standard form. So when we say standard form, we have ax plus by is equal to c. This means that the terms with x variable and y variable are on the same side of the equation and the constant c is on the other side of the equation. So a stands for the numerical coefficient of x and b stands for the numerical coefficient of y. This is the standard form where a, b, and c are real numbers and a and b will not be both zero. So hindi daw dapat mag zero yung ating numerical coefficient of x and numerical coefficient of of y. Let's have a short activity about linear equations in two variables. Determine which among the following are linear equations in two variables. You can pause this video and list down the linear equations in two variables na nakikita nyo dito sa ating list of mathematical expressions. Okay, so we have the first one is x plus y is equal to 15 because it has two variables and we have the equal symbol. Another one is 4x minus 5y is equal to 12. Two variables with equal symbol. Another is 
negative 5x minus 7y is equal to 12. There are two variables with equal symbol. Next is negative 2a minus 4b with equal symbol, two variables. Then the last one is negative 6j minus 7m is equal to negative 5. Meron tayong two variables and equal po yung kanyang symbol. So bakit natin hindi isinama si m plus 5 equal 16 and x plus 8x is equal to negative 7x? Eh, equal naman sila. Hindi natin sila sinama kasi hindi naman po sila in two variables. So kagaya nito, m lang ang variable natin and ito po ay x lamang ang variable natin. Magkahiwalay nga lang sila. Then, the rest ay mga inequality symbol na. We have greater than, greater than, and less than. So, kaya hindi natin sila kinonsider as linear equations into variables. So, these are some of the keywords or phrases that we have to remember for us to have a correct translation of linear equation into variable. So, for addition, some keywords are plus, the sum of, more than, added to, increased by, the total of. Once that you read these words or phrases, that means the operation is addition. So, for subtraction, we have minus, the difference of, less than, decreased by, subtracted from, so that's all for the subtraction. And take note that in subtraction, the minuend and the subtrahend cannot be interchanged. Okay? Their position cannot be interchanged. For multiplication, we have times multiplied by the product of twice, double, thrice, four times, five times. So that's all for the multiplication. For the division, we have the quotient of divided by the ratio of. And again, pag equals po, for equals, we have the words equals, is, is the same as yield. So again, these keywords will help us translate sentence into a mathematical equation. Okay, let's have our examples, but before I will reveal the correct answer for each example, I want you to write your answer on your notebook and let's see if you know how to translate these mathematical sentences into mathematical equation, okay? So for number one, the difference of two numbers is four. Translate it and write your answer on your notebook. So, the correct answer is x minus y is equal to 4. Again, two numbers are involved. Represent it with two variables. And when we say difference, the operation is subtraction. When we read is 4, that means we have equals to 4. So, the answer for example number 1 is x minus y is equals to 4. Next, twice a number added to 4 times another number is 32. Twice a number added to 4 times another number is 32. The first number can be represented by x, another number can be represented by y. When we say twice, that means we multiply it by 2, and when we say 4 times, we multiply it by 4. So, as you can see, we have here 4y plus 2x is equals to 32. When we say added to, siya kasi yung ini-add natin. So, nasa huli siya. Ano po? Added to 4 times another. So, we have 4y plus 2x is equals to 32. And since addition po yan, we can rewrite it as 2x plus 4y is equals to 32. Addition, hindi naman po maapektuhan yung signs nila. Kaya, we can exchange the position of the added. Then, for the last example, we have here 5 times a number minus thrice another number is 15. There are two numbers involved. We can represent it with x and y. What will be the answer? We have 5x minus 3y is equals to 15. Another important thing to remember in a linear equation in two variables is about its solution. A solution to a linear equation in two variables is an ordered pair that makes the equation a true statement. Ordered pair daw po yung kailangan natin as a solution to a linear equation. So, yun na pag-aralan natin sa, li sa rectangular coordinate system about ordered pair, ito po yun. At sila daw po yung pwede natin i-consider a solution to the linear equation in two variables. Kailan lang daw magiging solution yung ordered pair na given kapag nagawa niyang true yung ating statement. Ano po ba yung true na yun? Let's have this example. For the linear equation, negative 2x plus 3y is equals to 8. Determine whether the ordered pair is a solution or not. So, tingnan natin. The first 
ordered pair is negative 4 and 0. Remember, when we are naming the points and plotting the points, the first number is the x coordinate and the second number is the y coordinate. Ibig sabihin, we can substitute negative 4 to our variable x and 0 to our variable y. Negative 2x plus 3y is equals to 8. Substitute the x value and the y value. Negative 2 times negative 4 plus 3 times 0 is it equal to 8. So negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. And 3 times 0 is 0. Is it equal to 8? Yes, 8 is equals to 8. That means this ordered pair, the first ordered pair is true for our linear equation in two variables. So that means negative 4 and 0 is the solution for our linear equation in two variables. So let's still try positive 2 and negative 4. Positive 2 is our x coordinate and negative 4 is our y coordinate. So we're going to substitute that to our x and y variables. So negative 2 times positive 2 plus 3 times negative 4 is it equal to 8 so we have negative 2 times 2 negative 4 positive 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 when we add this 2 negative 4 plus negative 12 that is negative 16 and it is not equal to positive 8 so if we sabihin false po yung 2 and negative 4 in the ordered pair and it is not a solution for the given equation then the last is negative 1 and 3 negative 1 is our x coordinate and positive 3 is our y coordinate. Is it the solution for the linear equation into variables? Substitute negative 1 to our x variable and positive 3 to our y variable. Solve algebraically if they become equal to the constant on the right side, that means it is a solution. If it is not, ibig sabihin, it's not the solution. So negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Positive 3 times positive 3 is positive. 9 and if we add these two integers one negative one positive we subtract the absolute value so the answer is positive 7 it is not equal to 8 again this is false so that means negative 1 and positive 3 is not a solution for the given linear equation into variables now it's your turn. I have here another linear equation in two variable and you're going to determine which among the given ordered pairs is the solution. So we have here 7x minus 2y is equal to negative 4. And you're going to test which among these three given ordered pairs is the solution. So we have negative 2 and 5. 2 and negative 5, negative 2 and negative 5. You can pause this video for a while, try to solve it, substitute the x coordinate to the x variable and the y coordinate to the y variable and hanapin ninyo kung alin ang magiging equal or solution for this example. Okay, for the first given ordered pair, let us substitute it to our linear equation in two variables. Negative 2 as the x value and 5 as the y value. So substitute 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Is it equal to negative 4? So since meron tayong minus, magkikip change, change tayo. Magkakaroon tayo ng negative 14 plus negative 10. And the result is negative 24. It is not equal to negative 4. That is why false po yung naging result. Therefore, negative 2 and negative 5 is not solution. So, ibig sabihin, hindi niya na satisfy yung ating given linear equation in two variables. Let's try 2 and negative 5. So, same process. We're going to substitute the x coordinate to the x variable and the y coordinate to the y variable. We're going to have 7 times 2 minus 2 times negative 5. Is it equal to negative 4? 7 times 2 is positive 14 and negative 2 times negative 5, that will be positive 10. And if we combine those two, we have positive 24 and again, it is not equal to negative 4. It did not satisfy the linear equation. Therefore, positive 2 and negative 5 is not a solution for the given linear equation in two variables. Then the last one we have negative 2 and negative 5. Substitute the values negative 2 to x, negative 5 to y. You're going to have 7 times negative 2 minus 2 times negative 5. Is it equal to negative 4? 7 times 2 is negative 14 and negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. Now combine these two. We're going to subtract the absolute values 
14 minus 10 is 4. And then, sine of the greater value is negative. Dito pa lang po, naging true ang ating equation. Kaya po, we can say, therefore, negative 2 and negative 5 is the solution to our linear equation in two variables. So, this is how we are going to test whether the given ordered pair is the solution or not. We're just going to substitute the value of x to the x variable and the value of y coordinate to the y variable, then solve algebraically. And that ends our video for today. So that's all and I hope you learned something from this video. Give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and to like the video and also click the notification bell button for you to get notified if I upload new videos about mathematics. Okay? Bye-bye!